HelloExtraJane.com It's me, Hannah, and I'm making a video because I haven't made one in a really long time and I felt bad. And people like videos because we're in a society where we don't want to read anymore. And I don't have to read a book instead of watching this video because I'll read a book. Yeah. Anyway, this video is about a product that I'm using a lot right now or that I just really love because I tried new products all the time, but when I actually use something over and over again, I take notes and I'm like, hey, I use that a lot, so I should tell the people I'm extra Jane because I mean, it's good. You guys are the good ones, obviously. The first product I'm going to talk about is Dior's Dior Shelly Hunt Mascara. And this is my favorite mascara because it doesn't have those annoying, like, brushy bristles. It has the... Uh, it's silicone or rubber or whatever. It's the ones that really separate. It makes your lashes long and thick. And it doesn't clump. And it's the only mascara out of like three or four that I can tolerate. I've tried a lot of mascaras and I don't like them. I won't call them out here. But you know who you are, Gravity Mascara. You know who you are. Um, and the next product I'm going to talk about is Clinique. Wellness Solutions uh, foundation and I like this a lot because I'm not really a foundation person but when I am I want it to have the same amount of coverage and I want to even everything out but I don't want it to look like a mask so I use this stuff and I like it because I do have a lot of redness I'm very pale and I have you know redness around my nose on my cheeks and that evens it all out um, but it's, it's light, but it still corrects all the color. And um, I just blend it with a brush. I usually spray the brush with um, a little bit of a facial mist, like um, the Coralie one. I really like that one. Or you can just dip it in water if you want to, you know. You don't want to spend money on a fancy beauty product. Whatever. And then I just blend it. And then my skin looks perfect. Thanks, Clinique. Okay, so next product. The NARS Nail Polish. 15 minutes. This is terrible. Um, photo quality. <laughs> I'm not saying the nail polish is terrible. I'm saying you can't really see the color. So I'm going to post a picture of it. The nail polish is not terrible. I would like to reiterate that. The nail polish is great. And this is from the Andy Warhol collection. And I bought it because I'm a beauty nerd, I'm an art nerd, and the name is 15 minutes, and I don't know, you can wear this nail polish with it, it's really nice. And, here's the pretty yellow one. Okay. The next product. This isn't really a beauty product per se. But I think it's pretty essential to have in your bag. This is the Naka Aeroblast Breath Spray, which reminds me of my childhood because I used to go through my mom's purses when I was little and she always had the Naka in there. And I thought I was really grown up when I would spray my breath. And then I had really fresh breath and I just felt like a fancy lady. And so now I have this one and it's cinnamon. So cinnamon is my favorite flavor of gum. And I think it's important to have fresh breath. It's maybe not my number one, but it's definitely my top three. To my mouth, sometimes people smell like soup. Or they smell like they've just been eating. I find it absolutely disgusting. It's really gross. So, after I eat, I scrub my hands with stuff so they can make sure my breath doesn't smell like soup. And if you want to know my other two top three to my mouth, it's seeing earwax in somebody's ear. Moving along to my other favorite thing. This is the Roll On for Kate Walsh's perfume billionaire boyfriend. And Kate Walsh is on television. And you know, celebrity perfumes are sometimes hit and miss, but this one, mm, I really like it. Because the whole boyfriend line, she started with just boyfriend, but this is billionaire boyfriend, so he's not fancy. I guess it's like wearing 
the guys cologne and then it mingles with your own chemistry and it starts to just smell like a sexy lady. Who doesn't like that? Um, who doesn't want to smell like a billionaire boyfriend? Although, I'm pretty sure most billionaires are like 80 or close to that. I don't know how many billionaires are in my age range. So I'm starting to think I'd be okay with a millionaire boyfriend or even just a boyfriend with a job. Anyway, these are my products that I have. And if you didn't want to watch this video, then I will also write out what they are and link to them because some people are lazy like I said. Thanks.